What is up guys, LU Haunt here, and today we are going to be unboxing, setting up, and doing a demo of Home Depot's 12 foot levitating reaper. So let's get into it. Alright, so let's open this box. You can already see a ton of uh, items crowded. I'll show you that right now. So when you open the box, this is everything you see. We have the head right there, some metal poles, the hand, and just like any other piece. All right, so let's take these out real quick. Here we have part V or the hand. Now this thing is really big. I'm pretty sure this is the hand holding the scythe, but that is a size comparison. Next up, we have this piece. That's probably for the scythe, which is pretty cool. Then we have another little metal piece. Then we have ourselves the scythe. So this scythe is actually a very hard plastic. It is connected to some metal over there. And then over here is a little, I don't know, segment where it can plug in the other part of the scythe. Then here we have another hand. Actually, I think this is the one holding the scythe because it has this hole right here and a light, as you can see. Next up out of the box, we have a part of the wood. Again, another hard plastic material. And then here we have more wood. So here is another wood piece, pretty hard plastic. Now here we have the end of the side. Again, again, plastic. But this is already pretty big, so it's gonna be a huge thing. Now here we have some more metal pieces, I guess. And then we have stakes. That's gonna be helpful. I'm taking out all these metal, I don't know, support pieces. The floor, and then more metal all around. Here we have the control box with all these wires. And it seems to be like really glued in there, so I don't think it's gonna be. Here we have some sort of Like Home Depot is doing amazing quality this year. Really nice metal. Here we have a very big piece. We have the chest piece. Holy cow. And it has this little like warning thing just to like let you know some like stuff or whatever. Here we have ourselves a back support piece just to give the back some shape. Pretty nice. We have foam. notice already there are a lot of pieces to this animatronic. Here we have the shoulder frame with some metal and wood. A ton of wood on it. Now if we take through the box, we have instructions, the other half of the base. And coming up to the end, we have probably the most important piece, the head. Let's take a look at that. We got a good look at this head. Awesome, awesome detail. It is all plastic. The eyes are plastic. Over here is metal. I know it has servos. And then here we have some springs just to keep them in place and some wires. Now we can't forget about the clothing. Huge bag of clothing right there. And we have ourselves whatever this is. It looks to be like, I don't know, an adapter or something. I have no clue what this is right now. It has a ton of wires on it. Whatever it is, I'm sure we'll find out later. Now here is our adapter right here with some screws and some tools in there. I'm sure, yeah, this is the adapter in this big white box. Now it seems to be everything, so let's get to setting this guy up.
Here it is, the 12 foot levitating reaper. This guy is awesome. And he looks just amazing in the nighttime. Probably one of the best props I have. W prop, W prop. Um, he was actually really hard to set up, but he looks amazing in the dark. We got the two uh, little ghouls there. It's just kind of dark, so you can't see him. But my honest opinions, this guy is probably one of my favorites in the collection right now. But yeah, that is pretty much it for today's video. If you want to see more of him, definitely let me know, because I think he's awesome. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.